Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where I will try to share my knowledge about Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. In this series of videos, I will guide you through a project that I recently worked on to um, filter a range of data using Google Apps Script and paste it into another sheet. So I will uh, break it down um, into different steps um, in a series of videos. I am not a developer, but I love automating the work that I do in spreadsheets and I decided to learn how to write basic scripts and discovered it's really not that difficult. So I thought I would share some of my learnings. In this uh, very first video, I will show you how you can easily find the last row and the last column in the data sheet. It comes very handy in many of the applications you will try to build. And I think this is a very good introduction to Google Apps Script. So, um, I will use a um, spreadsheet with um, two tabs. So we have a users tab where you can see um, various records, which corresponds to candidates that are applying for jobs with uh, different years of experience and um, different requirements in terms of salary, as well as um, the industries in which they worked. The second sheet is called search. And um, this is the sheet where we will paste the data um, from the, the candidates that match the requirement of certain jobs that we um, that we will put in uh, in the cells above, right? So, for example, I'm looking for candidates that have more than three years of experience that um, would like um, a salary of a maximum of ninety thousand US dollars um, and that have experience in marketing. But we'll look at that a little bit later. What I would like to do in this very first video is to show you how you can easily find the last row and the last column in the data sheet. Um, so the first thing that we would do is to open the script uh, editor. So you would click on tools, then you click on script editor, and we will name our first project. Okay, uh, we'll also change the name of the function so that it's a bit more um, accurate. Okay, the first things we now need to do is to declare a couple of variables. The first variable we will um, declare is the spreadsheet in, will we, in, uh, uh, in which we are currently working. So. We will just call it spreadsheet equal. So you'd start with uh, var, then the name of your variable and equal. Um, then we will use the spreadsheet app, then you dot, and we will look by, we look for the method called open by ID. Okay, now we need to get the ID of our um, spreadsheet. So if you go back into your spreadsheet, you will see in the URL after the D here, there's a long string of numbers and letters. So that's what we need to copy. And we will put it here. So we, um, we uh, the, the script now knows where to find the spreadsheet that we want to work with. And now we need to tell the script where, which sheet within that spreadsheet we want to reference. So we'll call it user sheet. And now we can use the spreadsheet. And we will use get. sheet by name, okay? And now you can see the name of your um, sheet at the bottom. You've probably uh, set it yourself. So for us, it will be users right now. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can um, have a look at our data and you can see that in this case, the a last row would be the number six and the last column would be um, F. So um, if we want to return uh, the last row and the last column, 
um, we will know that um, this should return six here and also six in the column because it counts the column from the start. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, you can also see that our data is pretty clean in the sense that we have headers for each of these columns. Uh, we do not have any hidden um, columns. We do not have any blanks um, between the, the, um, the different rows. So um, we can uh, easily use a simple method called get last row. So go back to your script now, and that's what we're going to do. So you declare a new variable, and we will call it last row equal. Um, we will now reference our user sheet dot um, and you can use get last row okay if you want to get the last column so we'll just call it last column we'll do the same get last column okay so if you want to check the results of um, that is in last row and last column so you can um, put it in the log so you need to type logger.log and just last row. Just do the same for column. All right, so you can now save your code and we will run it. Because this is the first time that um, we run a script, you will not you will need to review the permission and give authorization for the script to run. So just follow the instruction, click your Google account, advanced, go to my first project, and allow. Okay, so it looks like the script didn't find any error. Um, if you want to see what's in the log, just click on view and logs or control enter. And you will see that we have a six here that corresponds to the last row and a six here that corresponds to the last column. Okay, so for example, if we were to add um, some more data in there, let's see how that would change. So. Mm -hmm. So let's run our script again. And you can see that the row, the last row has changed to seven. So everything's working well. And you can see that it will work the same way um, in columns as well. Now we should have seven in, in columns as well. And that's correct. Our log is also showing seven in here. Okay, so I think that uh, we've learned a few things in this uh, first video. So how to declare variables, how to reference to a specific spreadsheet by ID, how to reference to a specific sheet within that spreadsheet, and of course, how to get the last row and the last column. So um, in the next videos, I will show you how to um, progress on this project. Uh, we look at how to filter some data, how to sort some of the columns that we uh, have, and how to clear some of the content. So thank you very much for listening and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when the next videos will be available. Thank you.